Okay, tournament mindset. You have to focus on what you can control. So, does anyone in here get mad when you lose a fish? <laughs> right? What about when someone's on your spot? Right? I think we talk, have every, we've had so many conversations today just covering all these topics. What about when someone sprays the grass that you were fishing? He was pretty mad. He's still chapped about it. He was like getting loud. He's still chapped. Guess what? These fall under the category of things that we cannot control. So when we're out there on the water, the best thing to do in that moment is to stay level-headed and make a decision. And the quicker you can make that decision, the more efficient that you're going to be on the water that day. And if you just stay in the pot, you can let that emotion pass. Get mad, take five, ten seconds, process it, let it go. Then make decision. That's not only focusing on that bad thing that just happened is not going to help me catch another bass. So stay positive. Gerald nails this. There's a lot of high-end pros that actually hire sports psychologists to help train their psyche. And one of the guy's names, and you can reach out, his name is Charles Plot. He's helped very notable names. I'm not going to sit here and list the names off of, but a lot of guys that have trophies in their hands have used this gentleman. I've actually got to know Charles. I never hired him. He was actually intrigued at the fact that I naturally possessed kind of these qualities by having a positive mindset and just always hunting the good in things. And I just think it's kind of my personality and the things that I've went through. That, go ahead. Is that who Gerald worked with? Yes, Charles Plot. Yeah. Yep, Gerald, Skeet, several, Michael Neal, just won the AOI back-to-back, Brent Chapman. I mean, I could go, like, all these, like, this is a huge part of fishing, guys. Majority of fishing is between your ears. It goes back to the conscious fishing versus unconscious fishing, right? Everything that's going to put fit more fish in your boat and maybe a trophy or a boat or your PB or learning a two technique is between your ears. You can't, if you're getting frustrated, just take a moment, breathe, goose rubber, and just let it go. <laughs> and so moving on, you have to know when you're in contention for a tournament. Who in here has won a club tournament, won anything? Right. So going into that tournament, you probably knew you were around some good fish. I would say the majority of the time when you win, you kind of have that feeling, you know. So you have to reckon, recognize when you're around good fish, and it just helps you make those winning decisions. There's different decisions that you make when you know you're in a position to win versus when you know you're in a not in that position. I'd say when you're in a position to win, you make more direct decisions based around those winning fish that you have found in certain areas. Um, and when you're not on winning fish, you fish more freely, in my opinion. And sometimes the way to win is to fish freely. And those are the wins that just kind of come on themselves. Um, basically, I'm not on anything, but I'm going to go into this with an open mind. I'm going to drive around that lake cruising 35, 45 miles an hour. I feel like that looks good. Try that. And then all of a sudden, you start, stuff starts clicking. And then you get on something in the tournament, and then you're running with it. And those are the ones that you're like, I had no idea I was going to win that, but it was just its some of the most memorable times you know, that I've had. And there's other times it comes to your home lake, and you got them hemmed up in a mussel bed in eight foot of water that no one knows about, and you can't scan. You're like, I'm going to jack them. Right? So if you know they're sitting there, I'm not going to go fish free and just let them five-pounders sit there in that mussel bed. I'm going to sit there until they bite. <laughs> right? So these all come down to the, the tournament decision-making process. And I hear so many people talk about, at the boat ramp, man, I got to beat Ryan today. Oh, I got to beat Gerald. If you are thinking like that, you've already lost. Because I can promise you, I'm not thinking about it. Mike's not thinking. No one else is thinking about anyone that's in that tournament because we're just focused on fishing against the fish. 